there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome back. Today we are outside Daytona International Speedway. We are going to look at this Imagine. It's part of the AIM series. This is the 16ML. We also want to thank uh, La Mesa for having us. So let's take a look. For a tiny travel trailer, it's pretty good storage up here in the front. I'm, I'm pretty uh, pretty surprised about that. Right, me too. Yep. You do have uh, manual stabilization jacks. If you look up, there's an awning that covers pretty much the entire side. It is a tiny travel trailer. You have a step above step. And you also have a little outdoor griddle here, which oh, is nice. Oh my goodness, look at that. Right, single <laughs> axle. As we move around to the back, there's a mirror, a mirror. <laughs> there's a mirror here. <laughs> there's a ladder mounted full time. You have a, a pre-wiring for Furion backup camera. You have a little uh, mini utility hitch. Your power connection is right back here. Your sewer connection is also right here in the back, as well as your flush for your black tank. As we move to the front, here is the other side of that front storage. It is also your water connection point for your city water. You got also got a little shower out here. There's power, there's all kinds of stuff right there. Let's take a look at the numbers. This has a gross vehicle weight of 4,795 pounds and a cargo carrying capacity of 861 pounds. As we move to the front, you do have an electric jack with a light, two 20-pound protein panks, and a spot so you can put two batteries. Let's go look at the inside. So as we walk in, right when you come in, you see your bedroom. There is uh, no curtain that separates it. Again, it's a tiny travel trailer, so you're not going to, I think, have a lot of people with you like entertaining and staying with you. So I don't think that's a big deal. From a bed standpoint, as you can see at my height, I could sleep here on the outside, but I'd have troubles on the inside because you can see where my feet are. They're hanging off the end. And because it would just be a little challenging at my height on the inside, but on the outside, it's fine. But let's get a measurement so we know exactly how big this is. Well, 60 by 80. So that is a residential queen, right? So uh, it's just a, a little bit challenging. Now this does have a cubby up here with power. So if you need to have a CPAP, you can do that. Um, however, my guess would be then your head would be up here. And so at my height, it'd be a little bit challenging. You do have cabinets, which are really deep, Lisa. Oh, look at that. They <coughs> yep. sure are. Yep. So put lots of hanging clothes up there. Hanging? And hanging. Folded. I was thinking of this. This is where you're going to put your hanging stuff. <laughs> my brain was already moving on. And you got a couple of drawers. So yes, your folded clothes would go up top. Very nice. Uh, there is no dinette, however... There's your dining table right there, okay? As you can see, there's also storage underneath there, which also goes down there pretty deep. Very nice. But this is sort of a jackknife, so it can either be a sofa like I'm sitting on it or a bed. Um, as I was mentioning, there is a table that goes here, so it's also your dinette. Directly across from me is where the TV is. It's up there in the top. And it's a smaller TV, but again, we're in a, you know, a tiny travel trailer, so I think it's appropriate. And then we have this little L-shaped kitchen. Yeah, for a tiny trailer. Look at all this countertop yeah. space. I'm, I'm, Tons of countertop space. I know, I'm impressed, really. Um, we do have a two-burner gas stove. We've got a microwave. And um, we've got a, a little, little round, round sink. sink. Pop-up. Yeah, nice. Yes, I love that. I love that. Okay. And that actually allows for more countertop Power's space. Up there. Powers up there. <laughs> Very nice. Now, we do have cabinets all around. So there's actually lots of storage here. Yeah. And then there's these big drawers down here. Nice. As well as under the microwave and cabinet yeah. space. Nice. So there is actually a lot of storage in here. Um, we do have a refrigerator. Re reversed. It is, <laughs> Meaning yes. The refrigerator is on top, the freezer is on the bottom. Look at that. Um, it is a 12 volt, guys. Yes. And more storage. Yep. And that and goes way back there, it, too. It does go way back. Let me give that the knock test. All right, that is pretty thin, and it does not have the extra support in there like some of the others we've seen, so. Correct. All right, let's check out the bathroom. All uh, right. Oh, you know what time it is. It's time for... Thomas Toilet Test. Ah! All right, if this is your first time watching one of our videos, I'm six foot four, so use my height as reference as you see me walking around the RV. Also, do us a favor. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, become part of Tall Man Clan. It is free to you, costs you absolutely nothing, and it really helps out Lisa and myself, and we would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, Lisa, I gotta tell you, uh, this one is not gonna work for me. Um, here's the door. 
So um, if I'm going to use the toilet, everyone's going to be watching. Yes. Because I can't close the door while I'm sitting on the toilet. So this would, for me, okay, directly to my right is a very generous vanity with a countertop. So lots of ca uh, countertop space in here. Uh, you got a big drawer here and another big drawer down there. Um, a nice medicine cabinet and it's all the way up to the ceiling. So it's a great height for my height, even though, well, I can't sit on the toilet. And then there's the shower, okay? This is a tiny shower, right? We're in a tiny travel trailer. So this is a tiny shower. Now, height wise, I fit, right? And in fact, I could be I'd say 6'6", six, six, maybe 6'7", six, but 6'6", six, six comfortably, all right? However, um, if you can see where my feet are, all right, my, my right foot is really close to the door, and I'm, I'm leaning against the inside. So if I was to close this, let me, let me show you. Okay, of course it's my favorite door. I'm touching the door and I'm touching the wall on the other side. So it is a little tight when I'm when I'm standing this way. Of course, if I take my shower this way, it's not as bad. Um, it's just my elbows are probably gonna hit. So I couldn't make this work. I could not make the toilet work. Okay? Yeah, unless that was something that could be spun around. Um, I don't know if that's a possibility or not. Well, you saw how I was sitting. I was sitting straight, but mm -hmm. it's angled this way. Mm -hmm which it's still a problem. I still can't get this in here. Now, of course, I could pull it in like that, but I mean, that isn't, that, that's just not gonna work. Yeah, if the toilet was rotated co clockwise, that, it looks like you might have a little work. bit. If it was rotated clockwise, it looks yeah. like you might have a little so bit more you, room you here. Go back outside the bathroom. Okay. If this toilet was facing this way, it would be great. Mm -hmm. It'd be perfect. Now it leaves a little less standing room in front of the vanity, but not much. I mean, just a couple inches if it was rotated. Mm -hmm. So uh, hints for grand design, turn it completely sideways, make it a little bit easier for the tall people. All right. So there you go, guys. Let us know what you think of this tiny travel trailer, right? It's got a bed that's permanently mounted. You still get a dining area with this bench because it has a table. So uh, not too bad, especially for the price point, right? I showed you the price. Look, 25 grand. So uh, let us know in the comments below what you think. Until we see you all again, be safe.